Welcome back to the new water in Davy. Today is Monday, it is Memorial Day weekend, which means it is a bank holiday here in the United States. So we're probably gonna go for a little hike and I thought it would be fun to kind of share with you what I eat on like a weekend. I woke up with the biggest scare because I recently told you that our car got stolen and Jesse couldn't find our car either this morning and we thought it was stolen again, but I probably parked it in the wrong spot and it's probably towed. Not a very relaxing moment. I hope we're going to find it and I hope everything's going to be fine. Literally my heartbeat is still going like this. I need to drink some extra water. Anyway, I'm going to start a little zen. I'm going to make my morning matcha and a little breakfast smoothie of today. So good. So everyone who's tried matcha and like doesn't like it because it's bitter, you haven't tried Nekohama yet. <laughs> Honestly, this is literally just the best. Um, start my morning every day with this. We're actually officially launching in July, so our full website will be ready, or my kits will be ready. In the meantime, you can already get the powder. I will link it down below. But yeah, we just like can't wait to share with you what we've been working on. I'm going to journal a little and um, yeah, make a little breakfast. little smoothie i'm honestly not really hungry because of this whole stressful situation with the car this morning it immediately always like i feel this on my stomach where there's like a rock and i'm just like uh, stress but i do want to have like a quick smoothie before we're going to walk i kind of want to make like a tropical smoothie i have some fresh ginger in there um so For the protein powder, I'm going to use the Bulletproof Collagen Protein. This is unflavored and actually one of my favorites because it solves really well into a smoothie and you just don't taste it at all. I'm going to add a little scoop into here. It's so good. Guys, the key, if you make this, you need to put ginger in there. It literally levels it up so, so much. And the ginger also in the morning kind of like detoxifies your body and just always feels super healthy, especially if you kind of need like an immunity boost. I love to add like ginger to smoothies and stuff. Mm. I'm going to change and we're gonna go on a little adventure. We're going to one of my favorite places in Malibu, the real coconut, which I recently discovered. And this is literally the motivation of my hike today. It's like gloomy outside. I don't want to hike, but I do want to go eat there. So I'm like, sure, I join. <laughs> All right, let's go. We just came back from. I am so hungry right now. <laughs> it is 
it's 1 30 p.m. I always feel in the sun and it was like high like steep so definitely got like a leg workout in so we're going to this place the real coconut which is a spot we discovered last week and I'm gonna grab some lunch there I've been really thinking about this all morning <laughs> got a refreshing drink I was literally thinking about this during the whole hike a homemade like a ginger ale with water lime juice ginger syrup and ginger juice it's really delicious Yummy. Max has chicken pancakes and I got some fish tacos with a jalapeno sauce and I also got another salad and this is my second one I got the super green salad with some like a mint vinaigrette, avocado, and I think some seeds. Yum! Wow! Yum, yum! That was very delicious. I did like giant bowl salad and fish tacos, and I could literally still eat a little bit i'm kind of craving something like a little sweet i always have this after lunch where i just want to like change up my palate i don't know it might be like a cup of coffee or like just something a sweet treat or something but we're just gonna head home right now and then maybe i will make something at home as a little dessert very european yeah craving something sweet doesn't happen a lot Alrighty, I just got home. I actually wanted to share with you sores, which are vitamins, but then in like chocolate form. And I kid you not, you will never forget taking your vitamins again. It's kind of a two-in-one, it's like a little snack and also vitamins. This one is like clean collagen. And then I have another one with B12. So you're only allowed to have two a day because obviously the vitamins are in here. And because of the combination with chocolate, your body actually absorbs the vitamins much better than they do with just like normal pills. So um, I take two of these and then they're completely bland based. So even if you're vegan, you can also have these. I will link them down below because we can literally not stop eating this. They're so good. <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm sweaty. Now do I see you for dinner again? Alrighty, it is dinner time. So I don't really want to cook like a really big feast tonight because I'm pretty tired after all hike. But I do kind of want like some comforting food. Recently, while I do my nails or when I need to wait somewhere, I have been obsessed with watching these little YouTube videos on like korean and like japanese like food i don't know they're just so therapeutic to watch based on that i actually wanted to make a recipe kind of korean pancakes with a lot of veggies and eggs you can also do this without eggs if you are plant-based or completely vegan it's also inspired on the korean tempo food recipe i did like earlier this week and shared on the channel i've made this a couple times i didn't completely master yet but it's really really nice so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna grab some um, ingredients. Alrighty. Mm. I also made myself a little apple spritz. This is literally my favorite drink. Summer, winter, Obviously, after matcha, you will find me drinking apple spritz. <laughs> Basically, Prosecco with a little bit of apple and sparkling water. I didn't have sparkling water, so it's pretty strong. But you know what? It's still weekend. So I grab all the ingredients. I have some leeks. I have green onions, normal onion. I have red bell pepper, serrano pepper. I have some fresh mushrooms. I have two eggs. 
This is very optional. You don't really have to use it in a, a recipe. I just like to add a little bit of protein and some flour. I use um, gluten-free flour. So yeah, let's cut everything up and make pancakes. Cut the red bell pepper in long, thin slices. Cut the onion in small pieces. A little trick is to first take off the skin but keep this part on. This way you're going to tear a little bit less. the serrano pepper and remove all the little seeds clean it up from the inside and then we chop it up in small pieces going to add two eggs and of course if you're vegan you don't use them and you just use the flour with some water alrighty I have my big bowl of veggies here and I'm going to add about three quarter cup of flour and mix this to add my egg mixture and again if you are not using eggs just use a little bit more water add a little bit of salt we're actually you can be quite generous with that and to spice it up i'm going to use a little bit of korean hot pepper paste if you don't have this you can also add a little bit of extra chili flakes or powder Mix everything until it's kind of like sticky. It almost becomes a dough. This is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of like sticky. Honestly, every time I make it, it looks kind of different, but this is what we're gonna put in the pan. <laughs> This is kind of what they look like for all my Korean followers, let me know. I do have a question. I wonder how you can get it more like, uh, more round. I just kind of like did this and I feel I should cut the veggies a little bit more thin so you kind of get more of a smooth pancake, but honestly. I'm going to cut up a little avocado and put this on top. Really good. And maybe shouldn't put that much sriracha on there because it's pretty spicy. It was a weird combination apple with Korean pancake, but it works. I do have to say though, now like everything starts to open up here, it's just like also really nice to go out for dinner sometimes and to kind of try new recipes because um, I just like get a lot of inspiration from that. But on the other side, I also notice how delicious just home cooked meals are. And that just in a lot of restaurants, they just don't use like super fresh ingredients, I feel. So, I don't know, it's kind of win-win. But I'm probably going to make another pancake after I 
finish this one. I will also link today's recipes in the description down below. Um, so you can try this at home. And also don't forget to tag me in all the photos. I love, love seeing all of them and kind of like the end results. And I just hope that my next month what I ate in a day video is going to be in my new kitchen, which I can always to share with you. Anyway, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you next week. Love you. Mm.